going on, you guys? Um, trying a different, uh, different lighting and everything. Um, I wanted to do a video where I just share the things I'm reading and uh, you know just what I'm kind of into this time around. Um, so you know, we'll just get right down to it. There are uh, we're just gonna kind of go somewhat all over the place. Um, this time around, and uh, so yeah, hopefully this will work. Hopefully this will show up alright. Uh, this is a second book in a trilogy. Well, there's more books, but it's really a trilogy um, written by a really cool, really cool author, and it's this book, Douglas Adams' Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and. You have the third one, the final one, uh, Life, the Universe, and everything. I really do love those books. I've read uh, the first three, but uh, I've read all of them. But the first three are part of a trilogy, so I got that again. Um, so, yeah. Here's one by a guy named Jared Diamond, who wrote a couple of books called Collapse, and then one called Guns, Germs, and Steel. This one is uh, just what we can learn from traditional uh, societies, and this is a book called The World Until Yesterday. Really interesting. Kind of caught my attention. Uh, I saw it on the shelf. I recognized the name, and so I picked that up. Um, and so yeah, here's one that I picked up. Um, I was listening to a podcast a while back, and they're talking about it. I want to say it was Penn Sunday School. Uh, Penn Jillette's uh, podcast he does and uh, it's kind of interesting one, it's by Salman Rushdie and it's called Joseph Anton and Joseph Anton is a name that he took on a uh, pseudonym um, after he wrote this book that I picked up, Satanic Verses he had uh, well the Ayatollah in Iran uh, pretty much put a death sentence on his head and he went into hiding Still kind of in hiding, I guess you can say. But that was really interesting. Here's one by Scott Sigler that I picked up. I wanted to read it. It's called Nocturnal. He's a really great author. If you like uh, Michael Crichton, uh, just real fast-paced, uh, you know, storytelling, but really, really good. You'll definitely want to check this out. He has a three-book series. I think he's going into another one after that one. But uh, he has a three book series Infected, Contagious, and Ancestor. Those three are a trilogy. This book is a standalone book. But uh, he's just a really great author. I really do enjoy his stuff. Um, this is one by Rick Strassman. And uh, it's a documentary, but I want to read the book first. And it's by simply DMT, the Spirit Molecule. It's about. Um, this guy conducted a uh, clinical research from 1990 to 1995, and this is just the results of what he uh, what he found when it comes to DMT and all that. Here's one by Ralph Metzner. Uh, this was called Sacred Vine of Spirits. This is all about the history of ayahuasca um, and just a study that he did and the history of it and. Uh, was really cool. He's actually studied with uh, Timothy O'Leary and uh, a guy named Richard Alpert, who would later become Ram Das, um, as part of a research project called uh, Psilocybin Research, Magic Mushroom Studies. And it's just a really interesting book. Again, it's called Sacred Vine of Spirit. It's all about the history of ayahuasca and all that. Um, this one is part of a TV. It's actually the book. The TV show is based off of, and it's Stephen Ambrose, Band of Brothers. Uh, I've seen the miniseries before, but this is the book. I've read the book before, but it's been a while, so that's why I picked it up. I wanted to read it. Um, this one's a really good, really, really cool one, really good one. Um, written by a guy named David Finkel, and it's all about the surge back in 2007, and it's simply called see the title, sorry about that, it's called The Good Soldiers, um, yeah, you can't see it, 
it's about the good soldiers and it's about the surge and it's about uh, a group of soldiers um, I forget what it was uh, the 216 battalion and just what they experienced in Iraq uh, during the surge and it's just a really really cool book I really really enjoy that one I picked this one up again saw it on the shelf and I go you know what I'll just pick it up um, Howard Zinn's book People's History of the United States um, I don't really think if you're going to read history if you're going to read American history especially you need to read this book um, for the simple reason of it's unlike a lot of history books it kind of has uh, it tells the whole story it doesn't just focus on the good happy stuff you know um, at the very beginning he talks about uh, Columbus basically committing genocide, you know, being a mass murderer, but we celebrate Columbus, and that makes sense, you know. But this is one that I'm reading right now. I'm actually on chapter two, and I'm reading about uh, the New Deal and uh, Roosevelt when he gets voted in. It's on chapter three, excuse me, and it's by Oliver Stone and. Peter Kushnick, and it's called The Untold History of the United States, and I'm sure you will see up here, it, kind of a companion to the uh, series on Showtime. And what's really great is the first part, like I said, I'm on chapter three, um, the first part, I guess we call it the introduction, talked about how in the early 1900s, late 1800s, um, the United States was empire building under the disguise of democracy, of God told us this belongs to us, you know. They, they expanded west, and when they got as far west as they could go, they started going east, you know. And so they tried taking over Puerto Rico, Cuba. Uh, the Philippines, the Virgin Islands, and just all, you know, that whole thing. Um, but the second part, the second, well, actually the first chapter, I guess you can say, um, goes into uh, World War One and the use of chemical weapons uh, by the U.S. during that time. And then afterwards, you know, there's uh, just a bunch of stuff was passed saying, basically, you're banned from using chemical weapons worldwide but we did it anyway. Um, there goes into the New Deal, and that's where I'm at now. It's actually chapter two. Chapter three is on World War II, and then you have one on the bomb, the Cold War, Eisenhower, and JFK, and then it goes on from that. Uh, Bush, Clinton, uh, Bush again, Obama, really cool book. But again, it's called Untold History of the United States. And that's that. I really hope you enjoy watching, and uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.